In the real world, cloth appearance can change drastically due to the mechanical reactions of constituent yarns and fibers. In this example, the cloth changes its color and shininess due to a simple stretching. To capture this phenomenon, we introduce a new technique to model cloth appearance in a mechanics aware fashion. Our technique works by predicting the change in the fiber microstructures driven by external forces. In this example, a cloth yarn is stretched at the endpoints. Our technique accurately captures the finning of the yarn, and the result closely matches the reference simulated at the fiber level. In the following examples, a yarn is compressed by a few rigid cylinders, causing complex and spatially varying deformations. Our results obtained using only yarn level simulation successfully matches the fiber level simulated references accurately, while the bottom line solution which ignores fiber mechanics fails. We now show full fabrics modeled with our approach. This example shows a knitted fabric being stretched in all directions. Our technique captures the appearance change of this model driven by the thinning of yarns, an effect that cannot be reproduced by existing methods. In this example, we show another piece of knitted cloth fabric stretched by a moving rigid sphere. The contact forces resulting from the movement of the sphere cause complex deformations and appearance changes across the cloth surface, which are successfully captured by our technique. This example contains a three-dimensional knitted glove model. When stretched from both ends, the glove appearance changes prominently due to the rearrangement of yarns and fibers. Please note the macro scale appearance differences in both colors and highlights between our model and the bottom line. Our technique can also model woven fabrics. In this example, a small piece of woven fabric with shiny yarns is stretched horizontally. Since this one-way stretching mainly affects the weft yarns that are in red, the entire model becomes less red due to the finning of these yarns which is successfully predicted by our technique. Please see how the change of fiber level microgeometries affects the fabric's macro scale and isotropic reflectance. Lastly, we show a large piece of woven cloth being stretched in two directions simultaneously, causing complicated and spatially varying deformations. Despite being at a much smaller scale compared to the entire fabric, these deformations still yield significant changes to the fabric's overall appearance. Thank you.